I just bought this power supply. Uh, you might have seen this design before. I, I made a bench power supply out of one of these a couple of years ago. It's featured in a couple of my videos. Now, um, I've been very happy with it, but this one, um, well, <clears throat> I should say I've been very happy with it apart from a couple of times when I needed more current and the old one only goes up to two amps, so it's got a maximum of two amps. And this one uh, should go up to five amps, although I'm not sure if I've got a transformer big enough to drive it, but a bit more current would be nice. So here we are. So it's um, it's got a similar sort of design. The labeling of the buttons is the same. I think the display is actually a little bit smaller than the old one. Um, and the other really noticeable difference is uh, the 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 two amp one has a little fan on the back which kicks in automatically, and um, and starts moving air around once you get to a certain level of current drain. This doesn't have a fan, but it has a much larger heat sink with these uh, MOSFETs, whatever they are, some kind of shunt transistor, anyway. So anyway, I'm going to take apart my desktop power supply and swap in this one instead. Um, and you know, have an have an upgrade for my desktop power supply after after two years. Actually, what I might do, uh, I've got a big power supply somewhere. A um, I think it's a Beringer one. It came with a a piece of uh, musical equipment. So I've got a big transformer, so what I might do is um, uh, connect it up with a diode bridge, because I, I remember it's an AC AC output. So I'll connect it up to a diode bridge and um, plug it in here, and then we can see how that performs before I actually put it into the power supply box. So I've got this connected up to a power supply now. I just take this bit of plastic off the front of the lens there and we can have a look. Okay, so as you see it has a nice clear display. That's in colour you see, so it looks quite nice. And um so you've got this button which is the soft on off, you see, so that green light on the display comes on to show you that the power is power output is on. So at the bottom there you've got the voltage coming in, so we've got nearly 36 volts coming in from this external power supply. And when I switch it on you can see that the top figure is the voltage that's gone up to 5 volts, which is the set point at the moment. So that's 5 volts there and 5.1 amps is the is the limit here. Obviously this reads zero at the moment because I've got nothing connected to the output so there's, there's nothing drawing um, any current at the moment. And uh, down the left here so you've got this top one here it shows you whether the interface is locked. So what you can do is you can hold down this button here for a couple of seconds I think it is and then it locks you see so now all the buttons are locked out so you can't accidentally mess with it and then again you hold it in for two seconds and it unlocks and now you can use it again so in, if you want to set the voltage what you do is you hit the set here and you see the, the, the it's highlighted at the top here and what you can do now is you can move along the columns uh, no, sorry set and then you click this button here and then you can move along the columns so I can step through like that so I can turn it up from 5 volts like that because it's a rotator as well and I could change the current limit there say 2 amps Like that, so then you hit the set 
and now those parameters are uh, remembered by the system. Uh, what you can also do if you hit set twice you're in this mode here so you can set various things so there's the voltage, uh, the current and then these are um, setting o overload settings so uh, uh, I think you can limit, I've never used this but I think you can limit the power or the voltage or the current using this and then down the bottom there, these these work as cursor keys by the way in this mode. So we've got this one here which is brightness. So I can change the brightness of the display like that. Put it on max I think, like that. And then uh, this one at the bottom, I don't quite know. There's There's a mode whereby you can select you can have memory one and memory two and you can bring back fixed settings but i can't remember how that works i, I don't use that very often well don't, never used it actually um, but that's that's nice so what i'm going to do now is um i'm going to swap this module with the one that i've got in my existing power supply um and then i'll have upgraded to this five amp system from the earlier 2 amp system um, and I might see how, how much current it's possible to draw using the uh, the transformer that I've already got. So I've popped out the module from the front of the power supply. And we'll take these wires out. So I've made a note of the order of the wires already and um, the order of the pins is still the same between the old and the new module So I just need to put the wires back in in the correct order. Okay, so that's secured. Do a quick check. Looks to be working. And then we can actually pop it back into the case. It's just a press fit and it's got some little um, some little studs to hold it into place. Okay, so just a quick uh, operation to upgrade from the old to the new really. So this is the old one. You see the most noticeable difference is the fan on the back which kicks in when it's drawing a lot of current. 
So it's testing time, so I've got this nice big resistor here, 100 watt, 1 ohm, and on the uh, on the power supply I've set it up for 5 volts, 2 amps, which is of course what the old unit would have been able to do, so let's just connect that up first. There we go, the voltage has fallen to uh, under 3 volts. You see the CC there, which means it's gone into current limiting, so this is providing dead on 2 amps now. And you can see that the power is approaching 6 watts. Okay, so let's crank this up again. Let's see if we can get 3 amps out of it. Here we go. Three amps. There we go. We'll connect up again. Well, there we go. It's gone into current limiting again, as you can see. Now the voltage is four and a half volts, uh, and it's current limited at three amps uh, for a total of thirteen watts. So I can just feel a bit of warmth in the resistor now. So that's great. So I've got an upgrade to my power supply. I can now provide three amps, which is more than I than I will ever use, I think. But um, it, it's useful to get a bit more than the the two amps. And um, so that's a really good quick upgrade. Okay, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.